Ahead to next month, April marks Parkinson's Awareness Month, a time to bring attention to a disease that is often debilitating to one's movement. Former Portland Trailblazer and Blazer great Brian Grant, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's, started the Brian Grant Foundation. And next month, you can join him for the nonprofit's annual gala. Brian, joining us on the couch now to tell us more about the foundation's mission, and we also have Executive Director Katrina Call. Good morning to you both. Thank morning. you. Appreciate you being yeah. here. Yeah. Brian, many people do at least generally know about your story. You were a staple in the community well before you took on this mission with your foundation, but talk about your, your battle with Parkinson's and what went into you creating the Brian Grant Foundation. Well, my battle really began right after I retired. It started with deep, dark depression, and then it moved into tremors. And that's when I brought my family back home to Portland and was able to go to OHSU. And that's when I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. And that was back in, was that 2008? That was 2008. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of folks in your situation would have probably gone inward and to focus you know, on themselves at that point. What made you want to start the Brian Grant Foundation and, and really make this a, 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 a public opportunity to connect with folks and to push research forward? Well, I was fortunate enough to uh, receive a phone call from Lani Ali, which, who was Muhammad's wife, mm -hmm. and Michael J. Fox, and I'm a big fan, I'm a movie buff. So yeah. <laughs> after talking to them and hearing their courage, and neither one telling me, you have to do this, they told me, if you want to do it, do it to the fullest. If not, nobody's going to mm -hmm. you know, look at you mm -hmm. crazy. Oh, this is really pretty incredible. And, and Katrina, again, you're the executive director. Yeah. Um, what does the foundation do? How do you go about your work in, in this fight? So we help people live every day with Parkinson's disease. We empower people to lead active and fulfilling lives. We focus on exercise, nutrition, and mindfulness. And along the way, we're building a community to help people support one another on this journey. As Emily said, it is a disease where a lot of people do turn inward and what we try to do is help people connect with the community, share their story, and do things that can help manage their symptoms. What do you think are some of the biggest uh, misconceptions or stigmas that folks living with Parkinson's can face? Well, I think one big one is that it's a disease that affects only older people. As you can see, Brian and many other people, we have a young onset group here in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Many younger people are also living with this illness and face a unique set of challenges because of that. I also think a lot of people believe that it's just a tremor and it's much more than that. Some people don't even have tremor, but there's many different symptoms that affect people with Parkinson's disease. Um, and I think some of the the other things is again just the fact that it can really affect anyone and that it is different for every person who has a Parkinson's diagnosis. Mm -hmm. mm. Well again April is Parkinson's Awareness Month so we're looking ahead to that. We're also looking ahead to the gala. You have your annual yeah. Shake It Till We Make It gala coming up on April 25th. What can people expect with the gala? Well, it's just a fun night to come out and meet the Parkinson's community and learn more about the work that we do. We like to bring people out. We like to get them to come out and celebrate. We are very grateful to all of the people that uh, either sponsor the event or give money at the event. It's our way of raising funds for all of the important work that we do. Um, Brian's there. Our board members are there. So it's a great chance to meet and mingle with the people that uh, help support, uh, run the foundation. And um, yeah, it's happening on April 25th. Mm -hmm. Brian, whether it's getting to you know work with other folks living with Parkinson's or meet family members you know through some of this work in the foundation what's the reaction from a lot of people in the community when they when they get to connect with you uh, it's all positive yeah. um, very people want to support the, the cause mm -hmm. um, and when you have I guess any type of disorder or disease you always tend to think it's worse than it really is and so I would project that on people but like having uh, April Parkinson's Awareness Month happen, mm -hmm. you know, that brings, that seems to bring all of us together so we know we're not alone. Yeah. yeah that's great. Well, and to take the platform that you have, mm -hmm. you know, is I, th I think it's really something pretty incredible that you've done because, you know, as we've referenced now a couple of times, yeah. it's not something you had to do, but it's something you chose to do. I, I think it's really, it's really pretty incredible. Your message means a lot to a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. As we look ahead to the gala, uh, if people want to attend, how can they find tickets? 
Yeah, go to BrianGrant.org. You can find the gala there. Um, you can purchase tickets there. Uh, there's also, for people who are living with Parkinson's, all of our programs are available online. So at BrianGrant.org, you can take classes, you can do exercise, you can sign up for webcasts. So it's it's a really great resource for the mm -hmm. Parkinson's community. You got right. a new season of a new podcast coming out as well. Yeah. We're almost out of time, but real quick, just mention what's the name of the pod? It's called On Time, a Parkinson's podcast. Fantastic. Nice. So uh, yeah, some guests who are living with Parkinson's discussing some of the, the stigma, the life they found after that diagnosis and yeah. uh, just amazing resources for folks to go check out. Thank you both for being here. Thank yeah. you. Really well, appreciate you. your time appreciate this morning. Thank you. And hope it is a great gala. Brian and thank Katrina, you. we appreciate it. If you want to be a part of Parkinson's Awareness Month, you can help Brian Grant continue the foundation's mission by taking part in their Shake It Till We Make It Gala Thursday, April 25th at Castaway Portland. For tickets, all the info and more resources, go to briangrant.org. It's 8.13.